this is a cube shape and there are 64 exactly 64 cubes into this shape now I want to know the edge length now to do this I can't divide because I don't really have uh, any edges to work with that I can divide out okay so but this because of the fact that this is specifically a cube so same length width and height are exactly the same I can do this differently than I would a rectangular any other rectangular prism where I could maybe divide out areas and edge lengths and things like that here I only need the volume I have the volume and I can find the edge length by just drawing this in okay so I can draw 64 cubes in here exactly okay, and there's going to be 16 cubes in the first layer of this, 16 cubes in the second layer, and 16 cubes in the third layer. This is not a, I need to draw those lines a little bit better, but okay. And just connecting these lines here. Okay, so I can count them up. I've got 16 cubes here. I've got 32 cubes if I do the next layer, 48 cubes if I do the next layer, and then add another 16 more cubes in the back. This gives me 64 cubes. And the edge length then must be 4. I can see there's 4 centimeters of edge length. Okay, and that's either length, width, and depth. Okay, so the, the edge length must be 4 centimeters. And I didn't divide to do this. It's really important that this is not multiplication. Okay, I divided. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't divide to get this edge length. So here, if I start with 30 cubes, well, obviously I cannot divide to find the edge length. In fact, this one's even harder because I can't actually draw 30 cubes in here very easily. Because if I think of my cubes. I can do three, three, an edge length of three, that will give me 27 cubes. So three by three by three is gonna give me a 27 cube. So I need to make it bigger than 27 cubes, but it can't be four centimeters because that gives me way too many cubes. So I know it's gonna be a little bit more than three centimeters along the edge. So how do I do this? Well. Because it's a cube, I can do something special. I can use, instead of dividing or doing some other math like that, I can use roots, which is a different math. I can undo powers with a root. So I'm going to take my calculator, because my calculator has this built in, and I'm going to find my cube root function. If I do the cube root of 30, I get an edge length of approximately 3.10 seven dot 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 right so that's three i'm just gonna say 3.107 dot 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 3.10 dot 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 okay and so this is about right because i know that this times this times this or this cubed will give me a cube shape and the number of cubes that would fit into that cube shape is exactly 30. so the edge length of cube in A versus 1 in B is the one in A I could draw out because it's a perfect cube. So A is a perfect cube. Okay, B is not. And when I actually work this out, the edge length is, the edge is irrational. Okay, the irrational number because it is not made from a perfect cube. So, again, I want to just reiterate, we didn't divide to answer these questions. We undid the cube, and this only works for perfect cube shapes. And the math then is different than multiplication. We have length times width times height, that's multiplication. Here we're, un we're doing something slightly different.